Morning everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking and as you can see it has snowed but we're going to do this anyway. So today we are cooking pheasant breast satay style using the Kinetic Blends nut butter. So here's the ingredients, ginger, soy sauce, coconut milk, curry powder, lime, honey, the Kinetic Blends pecan, almond and cashew butter, can't wait to try that, and then some of this amazing pheasant breast from the Exmoor Game Company. And as always, always forget something, a couple of garlic cloves. So in goes the ginger puree, just a little bit of paste. You could easily use fresh and chop it up or mash it up. Then a little bit of garlic. So I've zested a lime, and now we're gonna put the juice of that in there. So do both sides tablespoon of soy sauce, tablespoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of runny honey, and about a quarter of a can-ish of coconut milk. And then we want three tablespoons of this beautiful stuff. So I've just taken the lid off, and that is one good looking nut butter. It smells really, really rich and creamy on the spoon. That is unreal. Oh my God. That has been blended perfectly. Oh my God. It's like the best packet of nuts you've ever eaten in a paste. You want three tablespoons of the good stuff. So three of them in there. And look, it's not all gone. I'm quite pleased with that. And now stir. How nice is that looking? And I think what we'll do, we'll give it a little kick up the ass with a few chili flakes. Not too many. So what I'm then gonna suggest you do is you pour off some of this because that's gonna make a great sauce. Now, speaking of breasts, there they are. Beauties, absolute beauties. Straight in, number two. Get that well mixed in and just look at that. How good do you think that's gonna taste? Bloody fantastic, I can tell you now. Okay, so now that all that's done, uh, I've got the cover off the asado, cleaned it up a little bit, and I've put some woodies down there. And I thought, for a change, let's do the Stonehenge setup because why not? Now I'm using the Big K ACH. 15 today because it is a kick-ass charcoal. Okay, so they are ready. Let's get these tipped out. Wow, look at that monster. I didn't know that was in there. Okay, what you then want to do is you want to skewer, and I use these skewers, your pheasant breast onto them like that, and I just weave it in and out. These skewers are really good because obviously they've got the two prongs, so it keeps it really, really stable when you're turning it. If you use a single prong, then it could just move about quite a bit, but with the two, it just doesn't move. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in those. Now, here's the important thing. Pheasant breast can dry out quite quickly if you're not careful. They're also quite thin, so bear that in mind, so it's not gonna take long to cook these. This is the moment of truth. And then you've got your sauce there but to spoon over the top as you turn it. And then the sauce that you separated earlier, to be honest, that can just sort of sit in there, keep warm, heat it up in a bit. And what you need to do is I would advise just keep checking these, keep turning, keep putting some sauce on. Don't let it dry out and it will look something like that. And that, my friends, I am gonna call time on that. That looks absolutely amazing. And there we are, all plated up, looking amazing. That's just a little cucumber salad with some white wine vinegar, some sugar and chili, etc. And this, I cannot wait to taste. Just look at that beautiful breast. Still moist, which is great. So this is the Kinetic, I'm gonna put some extra sauce on. 
This is the Kinetic Blends Pecan Cashew and Almond Nut Butter Satay Pheasant. Oh my God. That is so much better than peanut butter. It's better for you as well. Look at the health benefits. It's delicious. I got that kick up the ass from the chili. That lime is coming through. And the nut butter is so creamy. It's redonkulous. That was absolutely unreal. The flavor was amazing. I can't believe how good that nut butter is. I love coming out here and cooking with the Glastonbury Grill. Just fantastic. The whole blog post will be in the, in the description below. Loads of links and things like that, so check all of those out. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I've got loads of content coming, loads more nut butter related things if you're into that. Um, but again, I hugely appreciate everyone who does subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. Drop me a comment as well. I love it when people comment because then I get to reply to them and I'll see you soon.